Hey there, speed demons and gearheads. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're revving up for a high-octane ride through the world of racing games. We're talking about the most anticipated upcoming racing titles that are about to hit the tracks and your screens. Whether you're a fan of tire screeching chases or precision drifting, we've got the lowdown on what to watch for. Buckle up and let's dive into the future of racing games. The action in Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown goes down on Hong Kong Island. The game's map is a one-to-one -one recreation of the island, so you're getting the real deal, from the massive cityscape of Hong Kong to the chill beaches and rugged mountain trails. The map is packed with car dealerships, tuning shops, wrecked special vehicles to find, and all kinds of collectibles. You kick things off by creating your own character, tons of customization options for both looks and outfits, and snagging your first car. From there, it's all about hitting the streets, racing, and building your rep as you go head-to-head -head with other drivers for that Solar Crown title. The devs behind Rensport went all out to make driving a race car and competing on the track feel as real as it gets. That means you'll need some legit skills to handle the cars, and the racing rules are the same as in real life, so no ramming rivals or cutting corners without getting smacked with a penalty. The game is all about GT3 class racing cars on famous tracks, like the Hockenheim Ring, but they've also thrown in other rides and tracks, like the Porsche Mission R concept car and the legendary Goodwood Hill Climb. Built on Unreal Engine 5, Rensport sits at the top tier of realistic racing sims when it comes to graphics. Plus, the devs made sure there's solid mod support for all the community creators out there. Nightrunners is a game that's basically the spiritual successor to Need for Speed Underground 2. Just like its predecessor, it's all about illegal street races with fully tuned rides in an open world. The game was kicked off by a solo dev, Gem Burn, working under the Planet Gem banner, and it picked up serious speed, gathering a huge following on Patreon. The driving style is pure arcade, but when you're behind the wheel of the more powerful beasts, you'll need some serious skills. There's a cockpit view for extra immersion, and if you're into it, you can use a manual gearbox with a clutch. The game adds a bit of realism by making you handle engine repairs, refueling, and even oil changes. All this goes down in the garage from an FPP view, and the same when you're chilling in parking lots where racers meet up. Rev to Vertex takes you straight to the streets and mountain roads of Hong Kong, with a few tracks sprinkled in from other locations too. You'll get behind the wheel of a variety of sports and racing beasts from different classes. Some are licensed, like the Devel 16, while others aren't. Even though the names aren't always official, you'll still recognize iconic rides like the tricked out Toyota Supra, Mazda RX-7, and Honda NSX. The devs brought in their real racing chops to craft a driving system that's tough to master, especially with all the tight twists and turns. But don't sweat it, you can mod and tweak your ride to fit your driving style. GTR Revival cranks up the realism, taking it a step beyond Project Cars. The devs aim to give players the ultimate authentic experience, letting you hit the track with all sorts of rides on legendary circuits from across the globe. Um, the lineup includes not only high-powered GT-class cars, as the title hints at, but also a range of other motorsport machines ready to rev up the competition. The series really shines compared to the competition with its focus on authentic driving simulation using data gathered from real-life cars, though there's an option to enable assists for those who aren't quite as experienced. In AC Evo, the creators aim to push realism to a whole new level, both in terms of how vehicles handle and the changing conditions on the track, like weather or asphalt temperature. Uh, the game features a massive selection of licensed racing and road cars from various eras, as well as concept cars from manufacturers like Alfa Romeo, Alpine, Hyundai, Lamborghini, and Porsche. Just like the first game, Wreckfest 2 is a racing title in the Simcade genre. That means it blends easy to pick up fun with a solid dose of realism in the physics engine. This includes a driving model that takes some skill to master and an extensive and totally epic vehicle destruction system. The game features unlicensed cars, though they're clearly inspired by real life models, and they usually look like been through a blender, battered and barely hanging onto their wheels. You'll mostly be racing these beat up rides on asphalt and gravel tracks, and in the fight for first place, don't expect any mercy. Cars will ram and shove each other off the track, causing chaos all around. Besides the races, there are plenty of demolition derbies in the arenas to keep things wild. Bonsai Rosso aimed to faithfully recreate the gameplay of Sega Rally Championship, which first dropped in 1994 in arcades. The cars handle like a dream and the tracks are straightforward, letting you blast ahead at max speed almost all the time. Given its arcade roots, 
The game's content is on the lighter side. You've got three real rally cars to choose from, Lancia Delta, Toyota Celica, and the bonus Lancia Stratos, and four tracks, desert, forest, mountain, and the secret lakeside. You'll be racing against the clock and AI rivals. Volt Recharge offers an epic selection of remote-controlled cars, from sleek sports rides to single-seaters, buggies, and monster trucks. Once you choose your vehicle, you'll race for the ultimate win across a variety of wild tracks. These tracks wind through a range of locations, including the inside of a house, a supermarket, a park, backyards, and even creepy sewers. Mastering the arcade-style driving and getting familiar with the dynamic tracks which change up during races is just part of the game. The tracks are packed with power-ups, and snagging these gives you access to cool upgrades and special abilities. Plus, you can totally customize your RC ride to fit your style, tweak its look, and boost its performance for that extra edge. Japanese Drift Master is an open-world game where you explore a variety of locations, from scenic valleys and towering mountains to bustling cityscapes. The focus is on style over speed, so you'll want to drift through corners, string together drifts, and keep your car at the sickest angles possible. To rack up high scores, you'll need to master these drifts. Even though the controls are arcade-like, the cars handle quite realistically, responding to your virtual steering wheel with finesse. As you progress, you'll earn cash, which you can use to buy new rides or pimp out your existing ones. Uh, whether it's changing up the paint job or going for a full rebuild, the game lets you customize to your heart's content. Even though it's not officially licensed, you'll easily spot the real world inspirations behind the in-game cars. Endurance Motorsport Series features iconic racetracks and licensed cars, including those from Porsche, competing in the Hypercar, LMP2, and GT classes. Throughout the game, our focus isn't just on driving. We also take on the role of an engineer, managing the success of the entire team, which typically consists of two vehicles, each with several drivers rotating in. We need to stay sharp on everything happening on and around the track to develop a winning strategy, maintaining a solid pace throughout the race, often spanning many hours or even an entire day, is crucial while avoiding unnecessary risks. We have to keep an eye on the changing weather and coordinate pit stops, where we switch tires and drivers, make repairs, and refuel or recharge the electric systems in hypercars. The action takes place in Mixworld, a sprawling open map of 400 square kilometers, packed with diverse biomes and epic spots ready for exploration and high-octane racing. This world is dynamic and customizable. Players can tweak the weather or traffic and even toss in their own objects, like ramps or moving obstacles, to create wild, twisted tracks that they can share with the community. Plus, there are vacant lots that players can develop, build a police station, uh, for example, to see more cop cars cruising the streets. The races are pure arcade mayhem, emphasizing speed, stunts, and smashing things up. There's no shortage of other fun activities like obliterating different types of billboards. Players can also set up their own challenges with custom rules, invite others to join in over the network, or battle it out for top spots on the leaderboards. And that's a wrap on our list of the most anticipated upcoming racing games. What title has you the most excited? Drop your picks and thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you're racing to get your hands on. See you in the next video.